personal fit, the workout of the day, total body circuit. So in this routine, we have a circuit set up. I think it's seven exercises. It will challenge the entire body as you work through this circuit. Uh, it's a lot of almost alternating like push and pull. Okay, so Logan's gonna run through the workout. Thank you, Logan. My name's Jim, and, and guys, this is a workout any fitness level can do. I'm gonna suggest at least two rounds of this, and maybe three. So if you have energy, you have time, let's do three. I know in a lot of corporate settings where we're, we're working, um, sometimes there's a hard stop at 30 minutes. Maybe they're trying to get in lunch or, or whatever. So guys, if you have time, three is great. If not, two is gonna be a great workout, all right? Few things you'll want, okay? So if you're at home, you'll want a few dumbbells, okay? Um, if you have a bench, that's great. I think we're gonna use the bench for a few exercises. Listen, if you don't have a bench, the floor works fine. Use a towel, use an ab mat, or just lay on the floor, okay? You could do flat benches on the floor. Uh, the other thing is you may want, if you don't have a bench, you may want a chair also. If you have a difficult time going to the floor, or if you want some additional balance. Now, I prefer a wall or a post for balance. Chairs can be a little unstable, but if you need some assistance, we have a close push-up. If that's too challenging, you could do an elevated surface that makes it a little bit easier, okay? Or the knees, okay? Um, what else are we gonna need today? We're gonna need, um, guys, uh, some tubing. So guys, we have a lying pull down. So if you're working out at home and you don't have a pull down machine, this is a way to mimic that, okay? Now, we're gonna use tubing. You, I'll show a towel option when we get there, okay? The tubing just gives you some resistance so it feels you can really engage those lats. We'll talk about form when we get there. If you're in your corporate wellness facility and you're watching on a tablet, guys, you can use a pull-down machine if you want to. But if you're limited on equipment, tubing works great, or just grab a towel, okay? Um, that's about it. One more thing, real quick. Guys, with our close push-ups, okay, towards the end of the workout, we have a, we have a, a closer push-up. We're really thinking about inner chest, but it's going to get your triceps also. Uh, if you want to use dumbbells or even some type of push-up handles, that may help. It helps with range of motion, kind of a little bit easier on the wrist. Sometimes people have a hard time. When you press against the floor, you're kind of pushing that wrist back. When you hold it, it puts the wrist in a little more positive position. So it may be beneficial if you have some wrist issues or, or want to increase that range a little bit, although I like it for the wrist more than anything. All right, so we've got that option also. So I'm gonna set this down. Uh, we are gonna get started. Hey, it's a good idea to be a little warm too, okay? So guys, if you, if you can get on a bike or elliptical, uh, do some light stretching, some light calisthenics, high knees, jumping jacks, things of that nature will get your body ready to work, okay? So we're gonna assume that you're ready, get your three to five minute warm up, and we're gonna get started. So our first exercise, circuit is up there so you can see that. Reps are generally gonna be around 10 to 15. There's a few that are more like eight or so. We'll talk about that when we get there. Uh, flat bench. So we're gonna grab dumbbells, guys. Listen, you could use bars, of course, if you're at a gym or your fitness facility. Uh, but we're gonna use some dumbbells. Guys, I wanna shoot for more over the next 15 range for the first set, then the second and optional third. You could even up weight if you have that ability at home or if you're in a fitness center, you can up that weight as you go through, okay? So let's grab some weights and All right, let's get on here. Uh, guys, a couple things too as Logan grabs these weights. Um, watch the elbows. You, you don't, sometimes you wear those elbows way out. Guys, bring them in a little bit. Don't stress those shoulders, okay? The other thing, always be under control. When Logan lays back, I'm gonna have Logan lay back and get those weights up right away, okay? So we're not gonna strain those shoulders, they're right up. Now, what we're gonna do is, we're not gonna get too wide. Logan's gonna come down under control, and we're gonna come right about to here. We're gonna come up, we're gonna converge the weights. So the weights are gonna come close together, maybe in lightly touch, you don't wanna bang them, and then we're back down. Converging, guys, the chest brings the arm across the body. So when you converge, you're helping get a little more contraction in those pecs, okay? Logan, 115, okay? Nice job. Hey, the other thing, Logan just reminded me. Thank you, Logan. Exhale and exertion. So in this exercise, exertion is considered when you're pressing those weights up. So breathe out. If you count at the top, you'll exhale automatically. So it's like one, two. I also like to control. Guys, so I know you're probably already starting here, but come up a little quicker than you come down. So the negative makes you work a little harder and drive up and then come down under control. Drive up, good. Great job. 
Great job. Guys, with this circuit, we don't want really long gaps between these exercises. So as you get more fit, that rest can come down a little bit. You can also up the weights if you have that ability to up that intensity to make it a little more challenging. So our next exercise, guys, we're shifting. We're gonna hit the lats. We're gonna hit that back, okay? Rhomboids, uh, lats. We're gonna do a row RDL, okay? So what Logan's gonna do, I can even bump this over a little bit for you, buddy. So Logan is gonna soften his knees. Okay, so if you haven't done bent over rows before, here's a quick lesson. Soft knees, you wanna straighten the back. Guys, we're gonna hinge forward, okay? So Logan's hinging forward. Guys, try to keep the hips high, chest out. That will keep the back flat. We don't want, we don't want you hunched over. If you, if you extend the hips up and stick the chest out, you can't hunch over, all right? Now Logan's gonna pull to the hips. So he's pulling up, squeezing that back, you wanna feel it right in here. Now he's gonna stand up with weight, just let the weights drag up the legs. Then he's gonna hinge forward again, and now pull to the hips, boom, drag up. Good, good. Guys, around 15 of these, okay? And just always remember, straight back, let that rib cage expand. When you come down after that row, it keep that, keep that chest out, right? Almost like you're trying to arch it lower back slightly. Nice, Logan. And then depending on flexibility, some people get down close to parallel to the floor. You don't have to, okay? So Logan has pretty good flexibility. You can see where he goes. His angle is right there, so just slightly above parallel, which is perfect. Great job. I like this exercise a lot, guys. A lot of joints in motion here, right? You're driving with the back, so you're moving the elbows. You're kind of moving those shoulders a little bit. You're hinging at the hips, so it's a compound movement that uses a lot of your body. Posterior chain is working on that, that, that RDL, so hamstrings, lower back, glutes, all right? Uh, next exercise, guys, great exercise. Total body on this one. I'm working just about everything except, I guess you could say maybe like your lats. You're gonna do a squat, Overhead press, core is heavily engaged with this one. So we're gonna shoot around 10 to 15 reps here. So we're gonna, we're gonna put those dumbbells in almost like a rack position. Now guys, you could bring them out if that's more comfortable. Typically they're kind of here on the shoulders a little bit. So Logan's gonna get those dumbbells in just a minute. He'll get a deep squat and then press over the head and then come down. And guys, on these presses, I don't, uh, don't snap the elbows. I, I, I know a lot of times in these, in these lists, people are really fleeing them up high. Guys, press them up. Get up tall, and then come back down to your squat. Okay, little one, you're ready. Right. 10 to 15 of these. <clears throat> Good. Great job, great job. One more thing to kind of be aware of while you're doing this, guys. Don't let those weights drift far in front of you. You're driving them up. So think about your biceps going to the ears, okay? Not, not across, all right? Nice, Logan. Great job. Excellent work, Ooh, excellent. Okay, so so far, you, if you see how this workout's kind of going, um, we're, we're trying to work like a push, then a pull, then a push and a pull, and so we don't totally fatigue. Like if you get all shoulders, gosh, shoulders would be crying. So what we're doing now, guys, so we just did the push, we're going back to a pull, Guys, we're gonna, we're gonna do a set of curls, okay? So we're just gonna kind of shape the front of the arms just a little bit. So we have bicep curls, we're gonna get about 10 to 15 of these, all right? And, and hey, listen guys, for simplicity, Logan's done the same weight for almost everything. You can change weights, okay? We, we may do that too in a minute, but um, just so you're aware, you're gonna have to use the same weight. Challenge yourself here, all right? Here we go, we have bicep curls. Guys, with this one, if you watch Logan, elbows are pinned to his torso. He's not letting them drift forward and back as he does these curls, okay? They're pinned in, making those biceps work a little harder. Exhale on the way up. Guys, we're doing kind of a supinated version. We're having the palms spar, almost like a barbell grip. So you're coming up, and that's gonna make those biceps work maybe a little harder. Um, okay, excellent job, Logan, excellent, man. All right, we're gonna go back to lower body, all right? And guys, get a drink if you need that, okay? We've been through several exercises here. 
Um, alternating lunge and lateral raise, okay? Um, so you're going to step, I prefer to go backwards. Some people like going forward. Just easier, in my experience, to keep good form by stepping backwards, okay? So we're gonna do a back lunge, and we call it a reverse lunge, and lateral raise, okay? On your lateral raise, we're gonna raise up as you descend into your lunge, okay? So as you come down, we'll raise up. Guys, arm only has to be about parallel to the floor. You don't have to go way up high. Um, also, you don't need heavy weights on this one, okay? We're gonna alternate legs. So we're looking for around eight, maybe 10 guys with each leg. So a lot of reps here, it's 16 to 20 lateral raises, okay? Make sure these elbows are soft as you raise those arms out. I don't want you to lock those elbows and come out. That puts a lot of stress on the joints, okay? So uh, grab something really light, guys. If you don't have really light dumbbells, I mean, seriously, two, three pounds, five pounds will work for a lot of people, okay? Obviously, if you're stronger, you can use whatever you can handle. Uh, but the point is you don't need heavy weights. So take it easy on your shoulders, all right? Logan, I'm going to set these here for you, buddy. Uh, make sure you have plenty of room behind you, okay? <clears throat> Hey, another trick too, uh, guys, um, some people when they step back, they're, they're almost in a straight line with their foot. Guys, if for balance, what you can use, you can step out just a little bit. So you can bring that foot out at an angle and that'll help balance you, I think. So we'll give that a shot, okay? So looking around eight or so with each leg, we'll just step back and we'll raise up. Perfect, perfect. There's one, okay, we're going each leg, two, good. Three, nice, and Logan's trying to maintain, it. I, I know the angle isn't perfect, about a right angle, so he's descending down, trying to get close to that right angle, uh, and guys, if you're not doing a lot of lunges, or maybe this is a new exercise, work on that. So you might be a little higher, but work on trying to get parallel each time. Right? Hey, nice, Logan, we'll set those down. While Logan catches his breath from those lunges, guys, we're gonna go to the floor. We have back-to-back -back exercises of the floor, so take a moment, if you're going to use tubing, now you could be using a towel for this too. So towel or tubing for the last exercise, which is a lion pull down. So if you're going to use tubing, make sure that you anchor to something really solid. You don't want to lay down and pull and have something like a chair coming at you, all right? So we have this beam that obviously works great. Uh, you may not have a beam probably, uh, but maybe you've got a heavy couch or a heavy bed that you could hook around a leg and kind of pull towards you. Okay, so just be aware of that. And again, I'll show a clip of a towel. With the towel, same thing, you're in this prone position laying down. And the idea is you're mimicking a pull down, but you're laying on the floor. So it's all about driving the elbows down, crunching that lat. That's what we're trying to focus on. So we'll talk about that in a minute. So uh, anchor this so you're ready to go after your push up. So the next one's a close push up. I'll get this set for our second move on the floor. And guys, this is where you could use a bench or a chair if needed for the push-up. You can also obviously go to the knees. I'm going to say eight plus. Some people can do a lot of push-ups, so if you can do 15, that's great. Uh, but if you have a hard time, eight to 10 is probably a really good number. So you can even start on your toes, go to the knees, or just start on elevated surface. As that surface gets taller, it gets, gets a little bit easier, okay? So you can fine tune that for your fitness level, all right? So I think most people on the floor, okay? But there are some that can't do that. Logan, uh, push-up handles or dumbbells you can use also. Logan prefers the floor, which is great. Guys, think pecs here, okay? So we're gonna come in kind of a medium grip on these push-ups. So we're kind of in just a little bit and we're gonna press up, try and engage the chest. A lot of tricep work too here. All right, Logan. Great job, man, great job. Wide on the floor, don't get up. Guys, make your way to your pull down, assuming it's close by. All right, I'm gonna move this stuff out of your way, Logan. And uh, we'll lay down, grab that tubing. And I'll try to have you a little bit of angle, maybe. So what we're gonna do here, uh, guys, if you have tubing or if you're using the towel, same thing. You're gonna grab with a towel, you'll pull slightly apart, okay? Towel or tubing, what we're gonna do is we're going to drive the elbows down the side, squeezing the back, right? Head is elevated a little bit off the floor, 
not much is slightly far, and we're gonna pull kind of towards that collarbone. So we're gonna pull down, good. We'll come up slow under control and back down. Nice. And you know what, Logan, I'm not even heavy, you guys, if you're using tubing, I'm gonna have you back up a little bit, so you get a little more of a stretch. Nice, nice, so now you've got that stretch almost from the beginning here, perfect. Guys, somewhere around 15 of these, okay? And again, this could be on a machine too. So if you're in a fitness center, go to the machine if you, if you want to. Nice job, Logan. Guys, that is one time through. Okay? So take a breather, get a little water, all right? And uh, we'll get ready to go through this again. How are you feeling, Logan? Good. Round one in the books. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me my water right there. Mm -hmm. You're me. welcome. this bench out for you. All right, all right. Okay, hey guys, round two. We're going to the flat bench or the floor. Let's get our presses. Hey, remember our tips, okay? Get those weights up. We're gonna come down under control, kind of slow, maybe a three count coming down, and about a one or two coming up, converging. So we drive up, converge them, and back down under control. Very good. Exhaling as you come up. Okay. Well, at least I messed around here. Right to these row RDLs, all right? Guys, great exercise. Remember, flat back, soft knees. That's, that's the tip on this one, all right? Pull into the hips. Boom. And stand up. And guys, when I say lats, Logan, keep going, man. I don't want to stop you. Guys, we're talking the outside of the back. So when Logan does that row, he's going to feel it right in here. Okay, so focus on that. Great job, Logan. Those RDLs are great. They kind of get the hamstrings and glutes warmed up. Because uh, the next one, guys, full blast on, on those legs and, and shoulders. So we've got thrusters, okay? 10 to 15 of these. <clears throat> Good, Logan. Nice. And Logan's working on getting a deep squat here. Nice job. So guys, if you're just starting on, we talked about the lunges, same thing with the squats. Work on trying to get parallel before, all right? Nice look. Good job. Bicep curls are next, guys.
job. Good job. Okay. Hey guys, catch your breath after those uh, those curls. The next one. Uh, the nice thing is the curls make you a little fatigue doesn't exhaust your body as much, okay? You're not, there's not all kinds of joints in motion with curls, you just have the elbow, right? So this next one, another one that's a lot of joints are in motion. We've got lunge, laterals, knees, hips, ankles, shoulders, everything moving. Use a lot of oxygen, all right? Great movement here. Watch your balance though. Remember you can kind of step off to the side slightly. That will help you with that balance, okay? And soft elbows here. Just about parallel floor, elbow to shoulder. Nice. Nice job. Nice job, Logan. Guys, think about your front foot here. That's your work leg, not the back. So they will drive it over the front. Right now it's just right, left. Okay. Great job. Ooh. Nice job, Logan. Okay. The next two. Okay, catch your breath for a second here. The next two on the floor. Okay, so we've already got this set up in round one. Guys, we're going close. Kind of close to medium push up, so you're not going to be real wide. We'll bring it a little bit. And then our pull down into the machine using tubing or the towel. Stay there, you're close to where you're going to do your pull downs. Don't, don't need to get up. Take a couple breaths and we'll knock out the pull downs. <clears throat> Great job. So head is up, chest slightly up, and we're really squeezing again those lats. We talked about that on the row RDLs when you're in that row. This is a similar where you're really trying to squeeze that back. Good, Logan. Great job. Great job, Logan. Nice work, man. Guys, that. Two rounds through. All right, nice work. Logan, how are we feeling? I think I could probably do one more. Guys, we're going for three. Three rounds. All right. So get some water. Hydrate yourself for a minute. Don't take too long of a break. Okay, we're gonna let Logan catch his breath here for one to two minutes, maybe something like that, and then we're jumping right back on the flat bench, man. Okay. Guys, last round. Listen, if you only get two, I still think that's a pretty good workout. It's compact. You're in and out of here. What you may have to do if you're working out before work or over lunch, or maybe you're at home but you have kids at home, you don't have a whole lot of time. Guys, you don't need an hour or whatever to stay in good shape. And that's what we're trying to do. Try to keep that body moving, okay? Uh, Logan, I'll pull this out for you. Man, I like this, this go get your attitude, man. Yeah. Well, we're just not messing around today. So we're back to presses, all right? Focus on the negative, contract your conversion at the top. Excellent job, man. Oh, 
All right, all right. Great job. And really, I know we talked about really think about the back. Drive with the elbows. Hands are like hooks. Light grip on your hands. Pull to those hips. Drive with the elbow. Squeeze the back. Good. As you get tired, sometimes it's hard to think about your form. Back straight, knees always soft. Nice. Good job. Good. Bones do a good job. Just keep that chest expanded when he hinges forward. Nice job, Louie. Really well done. Thrusters. Nice. Good, good. Think about those squats. Step with the squat, drive up. Nice, Logan. There we go. There we go. Hips are coming back, guys, on these squats, okay? So you don't want the knees jetting too far forward, okay? for a second here. Guys, next one, toughy. We've got lunges, so we're working the legs independently, but we're also working the shoulders, that ladder raise. Good job. Good. Great job, man. Great job. Oh, you're almost there, man. You're almost there. Guys, we have we have two exercises left. They're both on the floor, okay? We've got that, 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 that closer medium grip push up and then the, uh, then the pull downs. Yeah, you, you bet. And if you're spent, man, you can always go to the knees too. Okay? So this is, this is we, we pile a lot on you. Guys, it's hard when you get to round three after you've already like pre exhausted the shoulders with thrusters and ladder raises. It's tough to go down and do push ups again. So, uh, again, if you need to use your knees, that's fine, or graduate to an elevated surface. <clears throat> Nice, Logan. That's it. There we go. There we go. That's a nice flat back. Good job. Good. 
Good. I like it. The elbows are pretty close to the body, driving up. Logan, Whew. that was great because I don't think you've ever done push-ups from your knees, but I've never seen uh, you do push-ups. Yeah. So guys, it takes a little adjusting because you, you almost want to keep your butt up, but keep it down. Just come forward. It's it's not easy, easy. It yeah. just takes a little bit of an edge off, okay? So it's still challenging, all right? Logan, well, we have one more, buddy. Whew. Guys, we've got pull-downs, okay? So go to the pull-down. Last exercise. So that's that incentive just to kind of get finished with this routine. Uh, All right, Logan. Here we go, guys. Chest is up slightly. And this one just a little tired. It's not like bicep curls. You're just tiring. So we're going to drive those elbows, crunching that back. So think about a crunch. Good job, Logan. Awesome job, Logan, man. Thank you. Whew. How are you holding up, okay? Good, yeah. Awesome. Guys, that's our workout for today, okay? Just a well-rounded routine. Concert and form, but this is really gonna work. Guys, a lot of compound movements in here. We're working the whole body with this workout, okay? Listen, I know there are a lot of videos out there, guys, a lot of bodybuilding things. Look, not everyone is a bodybuilder, okay? If you're looking to get in great shape, Logan's not a bodybuilder, okay? He's not a pro bodybuilder. And I know he looks like it. He's not a fitness model either, okay? He's not a fitness pro. He has a real job somewhere. He does this on the side just to stay in shape. And that's what most people are trying to do. 99% of the people are just trying to stay healthier, be more fit. That's what we're about at Elite Personal Fit. So hope you enjoy that routine, Total Body. We keep bringing more videos every week that you can do wide variety of exercises. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks again for watching. This is Elite Fitness, bringing wellness.